citizens from people like you. Mm, wow. Here to react to these major accusations, Executive Vice President at the Center for Security Policy, Jim Hansen, and Senior Fellow at the London Center for Policy Research, Lieutenant Colonel Tony Schaefer. Thanks for being here, you guys. Pleasure. All right, off the top, Jim, what is your, what is your immediate reaction? This is all sort of breaking this morning. Well, let's first of all dismiss Ben Rhodes' comment as the designated liar for President Obama. He doesn't matter. The bottom line is, they did wiretap Trump Tower. They tapped a server that they thought was communicating somehow uh, with Russia. They asked for that warrant and were denied, and then went back again, got the warrant, found out there was nothing happening, and then went ahead and continued monitoring it. I mean, this is a legitimate charge, and we need a serious investigation. Well, Tony Schaefer, yeah. I wonder, uh, I'm assuming then, since the Obama administration was so concerned about what foreign governments are doing, they were probably looking into Hillary Clinton's server as well. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Doubtful, but uh, that they should have been. I mean, the, the right. fairness here is that you need to be doing both. There was clear indication that the Clinton folks were doing it. And let me be very clear to follow what Jim just said. And, her, and let me push back against Geraldo's idiotic comments earlier. In national security law, you have to have a very high confidence that you're going to do something to tap someone's stuff. And in a situation like this, it has to be even higher. So what Geraldo said was completely inaccurate. You, you, in this case, you had to make a clear, concise case of interrogatories. And let me say something else, and this is something else we have to worry about, is that the president, as we know under President Bush, can use NSA under uh, uh, what we call Title 10 military conditions. And so there's, there's ways of getting around the so-called oversight rules mm -hmm. that, that he could have done. Jim, uh, you know, the next step on this is the president obviously confident if he's tweeting it this morning, but uh, evidence and the ability to prove it is going to be a next step if, if they want to move the ball forward. How would they do that, Jim? Well, they did get a FISA warrant, so he doesn't have to prove that they wiretapped him. They did wiretap him. The question is, now, how deep does this conspiracy go? Mm. Why was President Obama's administration wiretapping a presidential candidate during the campaign? Who else was involved? With, was this coordinated with the leaks that were coming out during the campaign, the leaks that came out during the transition, and the sustained attack on the Trump administration sure. by former Obama officials? It seems to me there is a just cause for looking at that. Tony, I want to give you the last word sure. because you're always on top of these things. Very quickly, though, I want to defend our colleague Gerardo. We don't want to throw any... Uh, you know, he's entitled to his opinion. Oh, if he were so here, he would him. jump right in. I just want to make that clear. But quick 15 seconds, where sure. does this go next? Well, you have to actually, as Jim said, go back and look at everything. You've got to look at all the mechanisms which were employed, what the authorizations of any, and then those things which fall outside the scope of the president's authority, okay. which shows misuse. And you've got to investigate. Thank all you. Right. Thank you. Jim Hansen, Tony Schaefer, good to have you. We'll be right back.